<laughs> Robin. Hey, and uh, the other thing we talked uh, while you guys were listening to promos over and over again. Uh, my buddy Bill Burr here. I feel like we're brothers today because I can With tell. The hats. The hats. And I can see in your hats. eyes. You're not 100% yet, are you? No, this is much He's like waging two battles. battles. Yeah. <laughs> One in his head. <laughs> One with the virus. <laughs> I'm, I'm raging. I got two battles two going on. Two battles. One in Crazy my head and one in my lungs right now. I'm trying to get this shit out. But uh, <laughs> Bill saw one of my favorite documentaries. Uh, we talked about it on the show. You still haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Someone, Must see. Somebody was in here and we went off on it for a little Joe while. Rogan. Was it Rogan? Oh, oh Rogan. yeah, it was Sorry. me and Rogan were going at it. Another nut. Uh, the Grizzly Man. <laughs> the Grizzly. What Rogan would have made him tap out. <laughs> yeah. He kicks the bear's <laughs> ass. <laughs> Put a re rear naked choke. The fucking bear wants the audio destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes, Dude. Him, makes him look bad. This Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Get <laughs> 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 Rogan's an animal, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kick that bear's you ass. You see Fear Factor now? They got Joe just walking up to people's houses yeah, now. Yeah, Boom. yeah. Boom, boom. Hey, what's up, fuckers? Come on what? out. Eat this shit. I get a paycheck. Go fuck yourself. He can't believe that show's still on the air, he told us. He's like, ah, I'll do it. Rogan's the money's great. too good. But uh, uh, Bill saw the Grizzly Man movie. Is it, It's called Grizzly Man? Grizzly Man. Oh. I can't get enough of this movie. Accidentally, it's the gr one of the best comedies of last year. <laughs> Accidentally. Yeah. Because yeah, it, it's trying. I laughed out loud. It's I love when movies serious. become yeah. com unintentional comedies. You're so right. <clears throat> when they're not trying, and but there's something about it that makes it hilarious. Because the dude was clearly a psychopath, and this guy was, the guy who's shooting the video was portraying him as if he was, like, sane. Right, yeah. Like, at one point, like, he, he's just sitting there, like, looking at grizzly bears. Like, he's clearly just gay, and he's just going, Who's a big bear? Oh, that's a big bear. Who's a big bear? This fucking thing is, like, 10 feet tall, scratching himself up against a tree. And the bear is almost fucking weirded out, just looking at him like, <laughs> you, yes. Like, what the fuck? What is that? Weirded out. <laughs> Yeah, like absolutely. Yeah. Like, like I don't want to eat that animal look, face. Look, like, 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 all right, if I run out of fish, yeah, look, there's a reason. There's I'm, a last case. There's a reason I'm living out in the wilderness. Before they ate that yeah. fucking gay dude, they finally just. Yeah. <laughs> there's a reason they live out there. They don't want to deal with the likes of you. <laughs> I did young. see clips of it. I haven't seen the whole movie, and I did see that guy just blatantly gay. Well, at one really. point, he's literally he has the handheld with him, and he's looking at the female bears, going like. Uh, he was saying some shit about, oh, the female bears. He goes, maybe I'd have a better chance with you. You know, I can't seem to sustain a relationship with real women. He goes, you know, yeah. I don't know why, but, you know, sometimes I think it'd be easier if I was gay, you know, which I'm not, you know. And he's just referring to himself in the third and person. And he's alone holding <laughs> yeah. this camera? Yeah. Yeah. Like trying in the middle of the wilderness, <laughs> telling yourself you're not gay? He's in the middle of he's the this upper <laughs> part of, like, fucking Alaska. <laughs> he's having this inner himself. dialogue about his gayness. It's really, it, it's about, oh. you know what the movie's about? It's about... Acceptance, because complete lack of acceptance of what the fuck he really was, because we his parents wouldn't accept him, drove this fucking guy up to Alaska, and he ends up getting mauled by a bear because he naturally wanted to suck a dick, and his dad couldn't deal with it. This nigga's like treading water in the coral reef in, in Australia with all the sharks with no. You're not I'm not gay. I love pussy. I'm not gay. I'm in you know, here with sharks and eels. I was a big <laughs> hammerhead. That's a big hammerhead. Yes, yes big you are. Shark. If only that big black gentleman in that McDonald's parking lot would have let me in his car. <laughs> <laughs> would have been fine. That's the bear. <laughs> it's cold out here. It's cold out here. <laughs> well, the guy wanted to be famous, and it turns out he ends up living with the bears every summer in Alaska. But uh, he went to Hollywood for a while. He, yeah, he, he claims like that he was supposed stuff. to be Woody on, uh, on uh, Cheers. Cheers. Oh that, yeah, when they, they lost out to Woody Harrelson. Yeah, they go they go to interview his parents and like you, you think then that the guy would kind of bring up the fact that this guy you know might have had some you know issues with his sexuality and they got his dad and he's standing there on the front lawn and he's holding like a stuffed and like little stuffed teddy bear for some fucking reason Ooh. that was like his kids when he, you know when he was younger and he's got like American flags all over his fucking front lawn so uh -huh. right there you know. He's not accepting of so he brings up <laughs> not the fact accepting of his gayness. So the first thing this dude did, I guess, to try to cover the shit up was he went to LA and according to him he tested for the uh, Woody Harrelson's part on Cheers and it came down to him and Woody and they picked Woody and it, I guess it crushed him. So that crushed him. He had yeah. to go live with bears. Not the fact that he wanted to suck a dick and his yeah, father no. was against it and yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's a great movie. I liked his friend too. 
his friend, the failed actor, out in L.A. when he was talking about him, and you could see he clearly rehearsed what he was going to say oh, to try to make yeah. it dramatic. <laughs> it's so fucking Another bad. Bob Kelly staple. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the uh, rehearsal. They have all. I mean, uh, the guy got mauled and eaten alive by uh, by a few bears. Well, one bear, one bear. Exactly. Now, if you don't know the, the background story, is this him and his girlfriend? Does the, does the movie tell you this at the end? Like they, that he's he was killed. Oh, or is oh, it, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you pretty much know from the get go. You they, do, you know from the beginning. They yeah. kind of the buzz for the movie. I remember when it came out was that you actually heard the audio of him getting mauled. That's why I didn't want to go fucking see it. I was like, I don't want to fucking see yeah, that. Yeah. And he was but talking- actually, I watched, watched the first five minutes. What a fucking idiot he was. I was like, you know what? I want to see this guy get eaten. <laughs> no, I, want to hear I want to see it. I want yeah. to hear it. Want- Where's this playing? It. Like, Art... Uh- well, fucking Archie uh, Street and fucking well, now Picasso it's out. Road down in the east, east, west village. <laughs> it's out of, I fucking can't go. I can't go to like a theater. Street. Yeah, this <laughs> this movie will not be shown at a Magic Johnson theater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go down to East, East, West, West, East Street in the water to see fucking Grizzly Man. In the water. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Archie horse shit. Just oh, wait to come on video. First forty with customers with Bergenstock. <laughs> yeah, get a free bag of. Popcorn. I have one of those theaters in my neighborhood. We go there every oh, once in a while, shit. and they, they instead of serving popcorn, they serve uh, smoked salmon sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> oh God, God damn, damn no. I swear to God. How do you get up there, man? You take the Q over to the Z, down to the MM, the double M. Over to the dude. It's just a wonderful <laughs> picture. It was made in France. It's got French <laughs> subtitles. It won't be at the Magic Johnson. <laughs> what the fuck is this grizzly? Nigga, what? Alright, alright, yo. Chill, chill, now. But nah, anyway, nah, chill. That shit don't even look real. <laughs> oh, I saw like that the shit guys waiting for the CGI bear to come in. <laughs> that shit don't even look real, nigga. <laughs> You know what? I saw that. What was that movie? Open Water? Yeah. Remember they I it? hated Open they, Water. They, they, I saw that the midnight show in that Times Square. It was like me and like fucking like 30 black people in there, right? And they and they sold that movie like it was going to be Jaws. The, the next yeah. Jaws. Yeah, and it was all like more mental, like what you would be thinking. And after once they realized in the end that girl just kind of killed herself and they're playing all this dun 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 dramatic music, you just hear. <laughs> Man, that shit is whack. <laughs> Fuck this movie, yo. Dude, that movie was <laughs> walking out. That movie was filmed Fuck on this movie, yo. That was that movie was filmed with like a, just a dumb handheld uh, camcorder. Yeah. The quality of that I was so disappointed because I bought the hype on that. And the box looked good and everything, you know. It's like <laughs> I liked it. I have a fucking. You liked those I, I had a huge. I have a huge right. fear of the fucking ocean. I don't Who need doesn't? the acting. To was see the, the awful. The, 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 the uh, whatever. <laughs> it was <laughs> awful, but I mean, you, you scuba dive, you come up, and the fucking <laughs> boat is gone. That was a great moment. I love. And you're like, hey, is it coming back? I hey, love when movies like that that they fail, and then they don't even become cult hits. Like, I like the fact that the the setup was like, yeah, we're going to, yeah, this Blair Witch kind of feel. It's going to be huge, yeah, man. It's going to be there. huge. And then it just, it flubs at the theater, and then it just never, it never picks yeah. up steam in any other way, and I appreciate that shit. Yeah, I'm there's glad some Oprah movies that have fucking... picked up afterwards, <clears throat> you know, on video. Oh, like, Fast Times at Ridgemont High was a, was a kind of flop, and then, yeah. bam, it's on video, and huge. it's like humongous. Fridays was like, bow, on the video. But I'm right, glad this horse shit yeah. just, you know, that, yeah. that type of thing, you know what but I mean? But you know the director didn't come out with that selling move. That sounds like the guy who bought it. It's the scariest movie since Jaws. And he's like, dude, take it down a few. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more of an artsy yeah. kind, kind of a mental Don't, kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jaws yeah. was a pussy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mention Jaws as yeah. far as uh, this <laughs> new yeah. movie goes. Uh, <laughs> you know, they they should have called it Treading Water. Yeah, Treading yeah. Is yeah. that the movie? Baby. The whole movie? Oh, Dude, man. the <gasps> whole fucking movie. It's Just one. kind of, hey, we're still here. and uh, It's one sucks. fucking scene. One treading water. You know what's funny? They, they, you get to see them in their hotel. You get to see them go on a dive boat. And then it's them <coughs> treading water for an hour and a half. Yeah. No, and you no loved big, it. Ugh. No big. Uh, but getting I didn't back, say I loved it. I said I liked but it. But you liked it. I, I was so dis- uh, Anyway, the Grizzly Man. Getting back to that really fast. So they have the audio. He gets mauled and eaten alive. Him and his girl. He had a girl at, the, at this uh, time, and the uh, the camera was rolling when he, he wanted gets eaten. to leave. Right. And was afraid of bears. Oh right. great. But couldn't, I mean, right. that is the ultimate. I don't know how to break up. Did with they somebody. talk to her family? No, 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 they refused to. Yeah, no shit. They wanted to sue. I'm sure. <laughs> Look like fucking so, <laughs> breeder of an dude, idiot. I was. I went to this. Oh mo- I went God. to this movie early though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> what happened? What happened? I'm just laughing at just the sadness of that. Like, sweetie, listen, you're in the woods with a faggot who likes bears. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 you're not gonna win in any situation. <laughs> you're if not you live, the guy. he's a faggot. Yeah, you're not winning the guy. You you're not gonna die. get any money out and, of this. And he wasn't yeah. even like, like, oh shit, he's gay. He was just like, I mean, show tune. Right. Fossy hands, Fossy gay. Fossy gay. hands. Just walking through the door. Like Hello, my baby. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so the video camera was rolling, so that they have this audio, and I I saw the movie real early when I found out, you know, later on, whatever, that they didn't they didn't fucking play the audio. Oh, that guy's a yeah. They ends up just you need to destroy this. And you, you really thought going into this, especially because it's a documentary that they're going to play the audio of him getting eaten, or at least part of it, him screaming or something. Now, is this one of those Golden Globe nominees for best? And he's getting—I don't think it. They like, say he's getting eaten, well like right? That. And his girl is taking like a huge frying pan and hitting the bear over the head. She's and then the bear kills her character and kills her too. And and the guy's screaming, "Save yourself! Run! Leave me! I'm f you know." Blah, I can't blah, believe blah. that doesn't exist somewhere. And they fucking me. wouldn't play yeah. any of this audio during this documentary. And I was so disappointed. But the guy, how, how this fucking creepy director, walks around with a, the only remaining tape of it, playing it to his old girlfriends and whoever else yeah, listens to this horse it. shit. Fucking asshole. Right. He got to hear it. And then you see the reaction of the lady as she's listening to the audio with the headphones on. You're like, motherfucker. In the movie. Yeah. And then dramatically, like after uh, after it's done, he's, he's stop, he pushes stop and then hands over the tape to her and basically says something like, if I was you, I would I would take that tape and destroy it. Did she? And is it? Yeah, she did. I guess she, she did. did. That would be. What did they show her doing? Like throwing it in a fucking fireplace? Or yeah, for truth. So I don't think there's any way you can download it. You're really, I, you, gonna, you, are, you are just looking for a ray of hope. Somewhere, somewhere, right? Right? You can somehow. Dude, it, she a corrupt, someone ran it's off corrupt, out there a corrupt somewhere. Cop made a, I'm with it's, Patrice. It's, yes, it's, there's it's, a copy. It's, it's not. No one destroys the only anything ever. 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 Right. You know what? All the O and A fans are fucking gonna be screaming in uh, the garage right now. Right now. There's a Sapruda film or whatever the right. fuck of the of that fucking mauling. You know, his hands back <laughs> to the, the left. The fucking... <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, before any documentarian got his hands on this tape, the fucking police that did the investigation yeah, it's out there. had to get the tape and review Absolutely. it. Absolutely. There's got to be copies of this somewhere. And you're with me? You think he killed himself in the end? Uh, yeah, he definitely had like a death wish. Like this guy did this. I think he wanted it, and then once it was happening, it he was like, "Oh, maybe oh, I should have yeah. taken drugs." <laughs> yeah, too painful. Yeah. No, this maybe guy. This isn't a this good This guy way out. decided out of nowhere to stay uh, much longer than he usually did, and they explain in the movie that these quote friendlier bears leave uh, whatever time it was. Like, yeah, let's say it, it's uh, checkout time. That, that, that's and then all dumb. of a sudden the but bad they, bears come in. But the bad exactly. bears come in and take over that habitat, the ones that could survive a little longer in the cold weather and stuff. So the friendlier bears, they go off and hibernate. They're like, I'm, we're done. It's early September, whatever it is. And then uh, they're replaced by these uh, even scarier bears. And he knew that. He knew that. And he decided to stay because I think he finally just had it with his life and said, this is a hell of a way to go out. Yeah, he kept talking to the camera like, uh, he's like, and no one has ever been out here during this time of the year and survived. And he's like, if you tried to do it, you, you, you would fucking die. You would fucking die out there. Was he wearing uh, like a steak necklace yeah, he or might anything as well like have. that? Did he ever try to have like a dude voice? Like, mm. Or he always kept the, the gay Dude, he's thing. like so in denial. Yeah, he dude. He literally. You, what you do is you watch this thing. You gra you watch him gradually get crazier and crazier. Yeah. To the point he wants to be a bear. Well, wh that's great. Well, he was getting some recognition for this. He would come back with his footage from uh, Alaska with the bears, and he even made it on Letterman, where Letterman was having him on, like, "Oh, let's see your latest footage." And then it got to a point, and then he would travel the country showing in classrooms. Then it got to a point where no one gave a shit about his footage anymore. So now it, it started playing with his mind, like, "Fuck, I either got to stay out here in the middle of winter when the bears get really nuts." Or maybe I'll just fucking say I'll pack it in now and uh, let them kill Could me. Could have done fucking camera. Foot club or something. <laughs> Could have gone on that show. <coughs> it's a has been. But the movie is hilarious and it's not supposed to be. Oh, everything the cock creepy the coroner is. Yeah. He goes, oh, that's right. You when, know he, when he slammed down that big metal. Yeah. Canister. What, did he describe like the condition the guy was in or something? Oh yeah, and Absolutely. the, and the oh, camera work. He's his face. He looked like he was in Clockwork Orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like going. The bear grabbed him. Food, I all right. Yeah, grabbed him by his head at first, 
and then grabbed him somewhere about his like hip area. And when it lifted him up into the air, that's when he was yelling to the girl to to leave. Whoa! When he was lifted up, yeah, and then just kind of <clears throat> yeah ripped him to pieces. Still never came out of the closet. Put it in that moment. I'm not gay. Yeah, I'm actually gay. You should really run away from here. <laughs> <laughs> Still denying One day they'll, it. They'll come up with the DNA test to find the, the gay chromosome. Yeah, just check him out. <laughs> the hey, grizzly bear man was, was a fat. Gay. He gay. was gay. Oh, Scientifically so, proven. But dude, they they have footage like literally right up until like the last like hour of his death. So he's filming bears and like the the, the narrator's going, "Could this be the bear?" Is this the one that oh, ripped really? him apart? And oh, it yeah. looks in the, like a Bigfoot thing. Like yeah. the, not Bigfoot walks and look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> that really? Bigfoot footage. Where he's walking and he goes, oh, <laughs> looks into the camera. Could <laughs> this be the bear? Chris in Houston. And they, Chris. Could, they couldn't show his face because hey, he wasn't I'll convicted. Be, it's the one with the napkin <laughs> around his neck and the fork and knife in his hands. <laughs> Chris, go ahead. Yeah, I just got that Grizzly Bear movie. I downloaded it because you guys were talking about it. Man, that guy was a freaking fruit. He was talking to the bear. He said, I love you, Mr. Chocolate. And crying to the <laughs> Mr. fox. Mr. Chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, he said, thank you for being my friend to the fox. And every, it, it was great. I'm so glad the guy got eaten. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Right, right? <laughs> was that a review? I'm glad he got eaten. He was a piece of shit. New York Times. <laughs> Eating just like that sissy Roper on <laughs> on Ebert and Roper. Where's a bear gonna eat that faggot? Let's go to Nathan. Two Nathan. thumbs in somebody's ass. <laughs> Nathan, what's up? Hey, hey. Saw so, uh, Bill Burr over the weekend here in San Francisco at the Punchline. Laughed my balls off. Definitely on cold meds though. He was definitely pretty uh, wired. It seemed like. Oh yeah, I was out of it. Somebody's put a picture up on my uh, MySpace yeah. of them, a picture of me after my after my show. I'm all, like, fucking sweaty and bloated. <laughs> all hey, so I literally was, have my, my leather coat on. I'm, it's like 80 degrees in there. I'm freezing. Huh? What was the deal with that guy that ran up to the stage with his cell phone? You just totally called him out on it on Friday night. He came oh, up yeah. I want to show you a picture. Yeah, I was making fun of how many fucking homeless people they have out there, like San Francisco, how they just wander it, all it, the way around. It, it, this city is so liberal that they just have accepted the homeless. It is unbelievable how many homeless people are out like there. They gave like a stipend or something like $500 a month. They, but I think they finally got rid of that. So a They lot are, are laying are all over the place out there. What a great idea for a city. Let's pay the homeless. <laughs> we won't get every homeless guy that could drag himself here. Well, uh, what they thought they the would city. do would, would take the money and, and pay for rent and food. And what they did was they just fucking had a drug party for three days, D and then they'd be <sighs> broke again. Come on, You know man. what some of these idiots don't fucking understand? Homeless people are homeless <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> There are some evil more. There <laughs> are some unfortunate circumstances where people fall into these cracks in life and become homeless. But for the most part, homeless people are kooks. They're crazy people. They're insane people that are not locked up hey, in an asylum. What do we asylum. need to do about it, Anthony? I don't have the answer. There's no, there's no guys who got fired. Not pay that, them. No, no check to check guys that got fired. It's not and like out. fucking movie homeless people where <laughs> you know the guy was working at IBM and he got fired and then this 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 chain of events happened and he's out on the road with a fucking stick with a kerchief <laughs> tied at the end and he's fun with Dick and Jane homeless and, and he's in the shelter but he befriends the you know, the guy that runs the how shelter. How much shit can you actually carry around in that? Manner anyway. Not much. <laughs> Jesus, what are you got Not in there? much. Unless they're <laughs> doubloons, you're <laughs> fucked. There's nothing that. They, you're, if you're homeless, you're fucking crazy. So if you give them money, they're not going to go, thank you so much. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my resume together. And, and I, how could you even get an apartment? Do you have references? Or Oh, yeah. Uh, ask the guy that walks by the grate down there by the subway. He says, I never make a peep. Hmm. They're crazy. You don't. People. I know you don't pay them. I don't know what you do with them. I think you do what uh, Giuliani tried to do a few years ago: round them up and lock them in mental hospitals until <laughs> the ACLU comes around and says that's unconstitutional. <laughs> let them back out. Yeah, Giuliani I was like them just to the outer boroughs. Uh, well, that was at first. He did a good job, but the ones that wouldn't leave, treat them, treat them like Batman criminals. <laughs> 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 treat them like the villains of Batman. This nigga's dressed as a Joker. Put him in Arkham. What? They want to build a separate institution with dramatic lighting and gothic said, put shit on it. Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Fucking gargoyles hanging off the 
end of it. Well, Mr. Anthony, <laughs> riddle me this. <laughs> well, you're homeless. The Riddler was homeless. <laughs> that old homeless penguin and cat woman, them motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, they're all homeless. Come on. <laughs> homeless kooks? Lock them up. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, Some of them are downtrodden. Damn, Anthony.